Good morning. I'm coming to you live from my my little corner in our basement. And I have my window open. I'm going to show you so that I do see the outside. And that's my time with nature this morning <laughs> since I decided for the sake of my bigger picture well-being of not wanting to fall, slip, get hurt, to bring it in and continue to be on my path to creating the life I want. And today, what I wanted to talk about was finding freedom in our life and what that might look like. I will tell you, it looks different for everyone. But for me, the freedom that I have been creating in myself is in my mind. This journey that I've been on for the past nearly five years, it's been over five years, I'm gonna reach a goal here in just a few weeks. And so I'm pretty excited. But it's been more than five years on my journey and the breakthroughs that keep coming. But one of the things, and it's the tip of the day that I want to encourage you if you're listening, it's a decision I make every single day about who am I? Who do I want to be? How do I want to show up in the world? How far off am I? And I spend some time every morning. My mornings are like the fuel of my day because I get in touch with myself, with my soul, with my being, and I'm looking for where I'm not congruent. Is it in my healthy body? Am I doing all the things I know? Drinking my water, eating low glycemic, managing my blood sugar, eating nutritious food, getting my movement in, adding and creating a healthy surrounding in my life, getting into my healthy mind. All of these things, including sleep, all of these things, I check myself on my health. Where am I at? Where do I need to make and adjust, make some changes? I'm having this dialogue within me every day, but I'm also having the dialogue within me every day of what am I allowing into my heart? Who's speaking into me? Who's speaking into my heart? Who's speaking into my mind? Who am I allowing to speak into my being? Even myself, I challenge. What am I saying to myself? How many things that we take in that actually stir, shake, intensify unhealthy stress or feelings? And am I congruent to who I say I wanna be and where I wanna be today? So I'm just challenging myself. Every morning I spend time just looking at my overall health and well-being. Why does this matter in a ticket to freedom? Overall, is I believe that freedom is on the other side of a decision that I make every day. And I believe everybody can make these same decisions if we become aware of where we are. We cannot shift or make any changes if we're not willing to sit with ourselves and know where we are and know what's going on in our own heart, in our own mind, in our own body, in our own spirit. And are they aligned with who we say we are, who we want to be in the world? Because I am learning and I believe that everyone has the ability to change their stars, every single human. But it, tar it starts for me in the morning, taking a few minutes for myself to align myself, body, mind, and spirit to who I am, who I want to become, who I want to show up as, and where I want to go. And getting into motion every day is a, is a part of that consistency, whether I'm outside walking or inside on this treadmill, 
it was a decision I made back in March of 2016 that every single day I'm gonna walk for 15 to 20 minutes every single day and I have built that into something more but it started with a commitment and a decision that I consistently make with myself every single day and the evidence is that my life five years later is still shifting and improving and being moving in the direction I want it to be because every single day I make a decision and I live in that mindset but it starts with preparing my heart and my mind and getting that if you don't have five minutes for yourself every morning I'm gonna encourage you with my tip for Tuesday my health tip for Tuesday make five minutes in your day to align yourself mentally physically spiritually with who is it you want to be how do you want to show up for your family your kiddos your spouse your friends your co-workers when we are in a line and we have a con we know what that looks like in our mind's eye our awareness wakes us up so when we start to shift away from that person that we said we wanted to be whew, it's easier to make a shift because we catch ourselves. that consciousness is part of the key to freedom but it's a decision that I am learning if we make it on the daily we push through one day today go get Tuesday what do you want to accomplish today how do you want to show up for your friends for your family for your kids homeschooling whatever that might look like how do you want to show up how do you want your family to look back at your life in 2020 and say gosh mom whoa dad whoa the things they did in this storm whoa how do you want to show up are you living that what's one thing you can do today to move you closer to that person you want to become god bless you and have an awesome day